Hi everyone, happy Friday. Miss Stella here at Learn to Grow up in the Pacific Northwest Zone 8B. So today I'm going to be planting these, I almost said scallions, shallots that sprouted indoors and they are organic. And um, also in the allium family, so same family as onions and garlic. Although they are milder than onions, so they're pretty good to eat raw, but if you cook them, they become more sweeter. So also they grow in clusters, similar to garlic, just like that. So you can see they're not that big at all. Um, anyways, they are supposed to have a chilling period of at least 30 days with temperatures between 32 and 50 degrees Fahrenheit. So you're supposed to plant them about six weeks before your last average frost date. So I'm past that, I think almost like a month from the last frost date, but that's okay. So they may not get as big um, or do well if they don't get that chilling period, but that's okay because I can harvest the greens and I might be able to harvest small shallots. So it'll take about 90 days to 120 days, depending on the variety. I don't know the variety of the shallot. So this is organic store-bought, but we'll see how it goes. So planting them is similar to planting onions. So well-drained fertile soil. So you wanna amend your soil with some compost or worm castings. And when you plant them, you want to space them out at least six inches apart rather than four inches for onions because they're going to grow in clusters. And each clove can grow between four to 10 cloves. So they might get bigger around because of the, all the cloves that they will grow and um, you want to space them out or if you plant them in rows you want to space out your rows 12 inches apart so let's get this in the ground and um, we'll show you how to plant it it's pretty much similar to planting onion sets so i've got this little section here so i'm going to go ahead and add some more casting because i think it's been about three weeks since i added some and i do have some plants here as you can see there are some spinach and a few strawberry plants in this bed so we'll just sprinkle about half an inch on, to on top of the soil. Oops. Yeah. Get it to come out. There we go. I'm gonna make sure that we give them a good head start. And if you want, you can just kind of scratch that in lightly, just like that. Break up the big clumps. And as you water your plants, all the nutrients and Beneficial microbes and fungi will get washed down into the soil anyway. Let's separate these. So this one feels like there's three in there. So let's, yep, there's two here. So there we go. Oh goodness, I almost damaged it. Okay, so I've got three here. And this one looks like there's three as well. You can tell also see those multiple shoots coming from two different cloves so just that and then these are just individual ones so spacing again is six inches apart so we'll just stick this in there and most of it's going to be covered so just like that just pat around it so about six inches so looks about right here and make sure when you're planting, you have loamy, well-drained soil. So this soil is nice and fluffy. Look at that, guys. So it's a good soil to plant in. So it's almost like planting garlic. Right here. This one. Okay. So I've got three cloves left. So I'm going to go ahead and just plant them in between these spinach plants. I went ahead and added some more worm castings in there. Just right on top. Just get my holes there and just place this in there. And we'll cover them up. Make sure to give them a good water. Oops. So that's pretty much it just make sure to keep the soil moist fertilize every three to four weeks and we'll be harvesting in probably about three to four months again don't know the variant of that one so we'll see how it goes but usually i harvest my shallots around july or august 
So anyway, I have a few more to plant. I actually bought these shallot sets. This is called Yellow Moon. Pick it up from our local Fred Meyer store. And it was $5.99 for eight shallot sets. So I got a better deal on those ones that sprouted indoors, which I paid $1.50. And I think there were eight of them as well. <laughs> Anyways, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and enjoy your weekend. You guys uh, stay safe out there, stay well, and I'll see you on the next video. Happy gardening, guys. Thanks for watching.